action. Hello, thank you for joining us on Watch Hollywood TV. We are here on Hollywood Mike. We have our first audition. Uh, your name, please? Doug Larlam. Hello, Doug. Hi. Tell us a little bit about yourself. Um, are you, where are you from? Originally from Ohio. Um, I came out here a little over a year ago. Okay. Follow that comedy dream. And how's it going so far? Not great. Not great. Not great. I thought for sure after a year I'd be where I wanted to be. I mean, isn't that what everyone thinks, right? You come out here, a little hard work, a little stick to itiveness, and, and then you, you're gonna. I was gonna be co starring something with Will Ferrell in about three, four months, but no. Uh, what have you done so far? What, what are the things that have. <laughs> <laughs> How long's your show? Hopefully short. This won't take a while. Um, I, I've done a lot of therapies after. Yeah, I, I, I've done a lot of open micing. I've done a lot okay. of. Uh, I, I mean, I've, I've done. Uh, the, you do shows, but honestly, Hollywood's funny because uh, in in Ohio, I was getting paid to do uh, 10, 15 minutes. I don't. I'm, I'm having it over here. I'm getting paid to do 10, 15 minutes in Ohio, and that's not bragging. It's not that hard to get there. But um, uh, you come out here and all of a sudden you're paying to get time on stage. Or you have to bring five, ten people to get time on stage. So I guess there's a little bit of a culture shock, but it's almost a, if it was easy, anybody would do it feeling. You know, so you come out here and you realize that, that if I'm going to make it, it's going to be because not just that I worked, uh, that I was better, but also that I worked harder. Do you think you're funny? <laughs> No, and I hate stand-up. <laughs> I, I can't go through a night without wishing I was as funny as the other guy. Honest to God, I, I've heard I've heard that I've done well on stage, um, but I every single time I watch other performers, I think I never could have written that joke. I never, I never could have been that funny. But then people will tell me I'm funny, and you know I sleep all right. But no. Then no. actually, what brought you to stand-up comedy? Uh, divorce. Okay. Divorce, yeah. Well, it's, you know, you, you, until you go through something, you don't feel like you have anything to say. So, once I, I went, I had a pretty easy life. I went through divorce and I had always wanted to do stand-up. And I'm not blaming her for me not uh, doing stand-up, but um, I always felt like uh, there was something keeping me, like, the judgment of, the, the audience's judgment is no longer just on me, it's on me and her. So, I... I didn't start it until after that, and then I felt like I was quote-unquote free. Plus, now if I'm famous, I can be like, yeah, I, I got famous without you, which is a dumb reason to do stuff. So like a coping mechanism. Right. Okay. Right. Well, That's what got me into it. It, it works sometimes. <laughs> yeah. Uh, how is your social media? How is your following, uh, your feedback from your social media? Do you have... Um, I would say I'm still... Uh, I, I don't really have a voice for people to listen to, to be honest. I I started as a one-liner comic, then I quickly went into storytelling, then I went back to one-liner, then I went back to storytelling, now I play guitar. I'm just looking for something uh, interesting, something fun, so, and, and I'm having a blast now, but the problem is when you're constantly changing your voice, you don't want people looking back at what you did six months ago and being like, are you sure that's the same guy? So I've been doing this for four years, but uh, I still have very little uh, consistency in what I've done. I just try to be funny every night and see how it goes from there. As far as my social media, it's, uh, you know, a few hundred people care about what I have to say. And All that's right, about do, it. We wanna, do we want to share your social media? So we oh, sure, yeah. Uh, oh, I, sh I probably should have said that. Um, Instagram, at Doug Comedy. Uh, at Larlam is my Twitter, which is at Symbol. I don't know if you're familiar with that. Uh, and then my last name, L-A-R-L-H-A-M. Uh, the L's before the H. <laughs> you look at me. <laughs> uh, you're going to want to know how to spell my name. Because it's hard for some people. <laughs> uh, okay. And then uh, Facebook, Douglas Larlam. Okay. And last thing is uh, today's material will be edited and used for promotional purposes are you okay with that oh wow <laughs> gee i sat here for this long just to, no no th thanks for the opportunity guys i'm out are you kidding me uh no that's fine oh i didn't ask um how adult in nature can the jokes be we're good thumbs up awesome all right uh -huh. thank god 
then yes, you can edit it. I hope you beat me. Bleep out the, the curse words. Do like a so, cable, like uh, switch the words out. So uh, I'm excited. We're excited to see you. Awesome. Welcome. And uh, handle Just it. Just like that? Handle awesome. it. Right. Alright. Um, can you tell me if that's a little loud or am I okay? Alright everybody. Yeah? We're golden? Awesome. This is an instrumental joke. I'd get rid of it, but it's an instrumental joke. There's gonna be a lot of that. I was in the shower earlier today, just thinking about just how terrible comics are. You know, as people. And a lot of people want to be us, I don't know why. I don't have toilet paper in my apartment. That's why I was in the shower. Surely, Doug, it's not that bad. Well, I tried to kill myself the other day. I tried to overdose on Xanax. I got three pills in, realized it's cool. Another time I just ended up with well-shaven wrists. I don't think suicide's for me. Round of applause if you want to know what I was doing at the whorehouse. Round of applause if you... Yeah! Fucking assholes. Get it? Fuck it now. Nah.